What if there were ways to reverse chronic medical conditions and stop them from progressing? Join me in this video as we review the company Creative Medical Technologies, trading under the ticker CELZ, and discuss the medication that they just recently announced could potentially reverse liver disease. What's up subscribers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, as requested by one of you, we're going to be discussing the company Creative Medical Technologies and reviewing the medication in their pipeline that was just recently announced could potentially reverse liver disease. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Founded in 1998 and headquartered in Phoenix, Arizona, Creative Medical Technology, trading under the ticker CELZ, is an extremely small market cap company. And at the time of recording this video and this screenshot is currently trading with a market capitalization of $14.2 million. But despite the company's small market cap, a lot of investors have gotten very excited recently following news that the company's preclinical immunotherapy, IMZELS, could potentially help to stop and even reverse liver failure. Creative Medical Technologies business model and their products including MZELS and some of their other pipeline products such as Caverstem, FemCells, StemSpine, and AmnioStem are medications that are derived from mesenchymal stem cells and are part of a growing field of medicine right now referred to as regenerative medicine. All of Creative Medical Technologies products are still in the developmental stage with a long way to go before they become FDA approved. But with that being said, they already hold multiple different patents in different fields of medicine, such as urology, neurology, orthopedics, and oncology. As a physiatrist and future interventional chronic pain medicine physician, regenerative medicine has become a growing and exciting aspect of our field as well. With the treatment options that we have primarily been offering patients, including platelet-rich plasma, prolotherapy, as well as mesenchymal stem cell therapy. Since Creative Medical Technologies products are primarily derived from stem cells, I just want to take a few moments to briefly describe what stem cell therapy is and how it could potentially treat patients. Without getting too in the weeds with this discussion, our body contains its own stem cells, primarily located in the bone marrow. Our bone marrow is responsible for the production of our blood cells, both our red blood cells and our white blood cells. So because of this role, our bone marrow contains a large proportion of mesenchymal stem cells, which are cells that have the potential to differentiate into multiple different other types of cells. So the idea exists that by extracting a patient's bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells and subsequently introducing them to another area of the patient's body, local trophic factors and the new location would cause the mesenchymal stem cells to differentiate into the cells that are needed leading to regeneration of that tissue. At the present time, however, the data that we have regarding mesenchymal stem cell therapy is quite limited, with many of the studies being small and observational in nature. While mesenchymal stem cells may offer some promise as future treatment options, the medical literature is still out on this subject and more data is needed. Because the use of mesenchymal stem cells for regenerative medicine is still an ongoing area of research, these procedures tend to not be covered by insurance, meaning that patients have to pay out of pocket if they choose to pursue these procedures. As you likely expected based on the market cap size, Creative Medical Technologies currently has a lot of debt on their balance sheet, which outweighs their total assets by approximately seven and a half times as of their most recent quarterly report. Despite their debt, however, Creative Medical Technologies was able to become profitable in 2020, a significant improvement when you look at their numbers year over year compared to 2019. And they were able to end 2020 on a high note, announcing that they just recently filed a padded application for the treatment of heart failure and post-infarction pathological remodeling. So what are my thoughts on Creative Medical Technology and the idea of mesenchymal stem cell therapy and its role in regenerative medicine. I have to say that regenerative medicine is definitely one of my areas of interest, but at the present time, I still believe that we need to see better data regarding mesenchymal stem cell therapy before I would feel comfortable recommending it to my patients. So what about investing in creative medical technologies? Personally, I think it's too early for me. They have a very small market cap, their balance sheet is still questionable, and we still need better data regarding the treatment options. With that said, this could be something that I would consider putting a little bit of money in as a YOLO play, but at the same time, I think there are better investment opportunities out there. 
What are your thoughts on creative medical technology? Is this a company that you're invested in? Would you consider investing in this company? Where do you see the share price going? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you want me to talk about in future videos, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.